So yo, what's up guys? In this video, we have another Ace Grading return. This is the Pokemon Go return. So all the cards in here would be from the English and Japanese Pokemon Go set, including all the Radiant cards. So I thought for this set, we'll send these standard. They came in around, I'd say less than a, uh, two weeks. Uh, with the standard service which is now dropped down to 12 pounds i believe there was 15 pounds before so really really good value now for standard i do always recommend standard because like two weeks return is epic i still got about 100 to over 100 cards in the bulk services from before so stay tuned for more ace grading returns some stocks some for my personal uh, so it's definitely stay tuned. I'll definitely do return videos on those. So if you like return videos, make sure to subscribe here. We just did a CGC one this week, and now we've got these ones in the same week. So you're getting treated with more grading return videos. Carl, that's my favorite content. I always say it every time, like when I was getting into hobby, I was always watching grading returns, and that's really what got me into grading my cards because I just loved watching like Rhyme Styles grading return videos and stuff like that. So, guys, another grading return. I've 14 cards. And there was something, they said something, uh, one of the cards didn't fit the case. If you don't know, the Ace Grading case are like the exact fit. So there's usually a problem with the like ancient Mew cards because they're a bit odd size, some of them. Uh, but let's go, which way is it? That is the back, okay. Oh, no way. It's a Charizard as well, so. Oh, don't worry, I said more from Charizard's off, but. All right, let's see what it says on here. So one card didn't get graded. Same with our CGC return, he didn't grade some cards as well. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued to see what's wrong with this. Okay, okay, it's the English one with the yellow borders. So as you can see, it says no grade, uh, no holder fee. So that is strange. So that this one is a bit. So I need to get in some enriches. Put P for PSA. I probably got to send a PSA or something then. So this one is apparently cut bigger, or just doesn't fit in the case. So that was the reasoning. I put a screenshot of what they said. Um, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so we've got Charizards there. Let's just rip it here. And yeah, let's see what we've got. So I guess we've got 13 cards then, if I sent 14, uh, 13 of them graded. So let's go, let me grab a card here. And yeah, guys, if you don't know, we do box breaks every week and I have Japanese Pokemon Go restocked this week and the English Pokemon Go, lots more stock of it. So if you guys want to get in packs, link in the description, hopefully you can pull some Charizards. Uh, we managed to pull one guy, he bought 10 packs and pulled two English Charizards. Uh, oh, okay, this is the English OR, but yeah. Box breaks every Sunday, guys, on YouTube, and we got Pokemon Go, we got like 20 other sets. Uh, VMAX Climax, Shiny Star V, Star Birth, lots of English, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars. So if you want your packs, link in description but let's get into it hopefully we can pull you some of these cards we pull loads of these for you guys in our streams but let's go english mewtwo oh uh, so the most expensive card in the set um so this is a chase card for most people so let's see what we've got oh we're going the wrong way oh so this has got the ace label on it and this is a mint nine unfortunately so we couldn't get the 10 obviously you can pay for the grading report and find out what reasoning for the nine is or for the grade uh, so mint nine, so Mewtwo mint nine. And what I'd say is a bit too cloudy on that ace label. It's too much white. Um, the sky is like barely any clouds, and the skyscrapers are a bit different to the ones in there. Just my honest opinion. I'd say just make the label. I would, I would have done more blue skies in the label to match it a bit more. Uh, but let's go. So this should be. Oh wait, no. Do I have a Japanese one? I don't have a Japanese alt. Oh, I thought I did. Uh, but let's go. I didn't buy one either, so I don't have any Japanese ones. But this is the Golden Mewtwo from English. We packed in our 100 pack opening. Uh, yes, Gem Mint 10. So this is the Ace label for the Golden Mewtwo V Star. So very nice. So we'll make a 10 pile there. Or we'll just put a pile of rarities, so similar cards will put together. So we'll put the Mewtwo on top of the Mewtwo's. This is the Japanese one. I think I packed this in my first box. We've got one box for, um, and then we pulled in that along with a Charizard. So that's like a very good box. Um, but yeah, let's go. Gem in 10. Can't go wrong with the secret rare, like rainbow rares and that. As long as the centering's perfect and it's not damaged, then you're pretty good to be fair. The full arts are like a bit hit or miss, but the rain, like the anything with the glitter always. 
And I feel like the print quality is cut well. I'm, I'm really curious to see why I got a nine. I don't think I'd pay. I think it's only two pounds to check now, uh, now, but I don't think I'm bothered to pay two pounds to check why. But here we go. We've got EV Radiant. So I only sent the Japanese EV because obviously the English one is a promo and I'm not really fussed to grade promos. Um, but yeah, this is the one from, obviously we opened five boxes in a hundred pack opening. So we pulled like all of them in there. So check that video out. We did the Japanese hundred pack opening. We did English hundred pack opening. Uh, very nice pull rates if you guys want to check it out. But let's go. Ooh, mint nine. Mint nine. So I'm seeing a lot of the radians getting mint nines. You've got the ace label there as well, guys. So that's a really nice ace label. I like that one. Uh, so we've got the radiant Japanese in that pile. All right, let's go. All right, Venusaur now. So all of these should have ace labels on them. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, mint nine. I didn't even notice it had flowers in the background until I saw the ace label. So that's a good thing about the ace label. You clock things and details you miss in the artwork. But mint nine again. I'm hoping the English might be a bit better. Come on, guys, let's go. Blastoise, you can kind of tell where we're going with this. Oh, mint nine again. But I don't know why they put yellow background on the Blastoise. I mean, Pokemon Company, they should have put something else. Like, very contrasting, but nonetheless pretty. Like, the EV one's dope with, like, it's in the cave, got the gems there. These backgrounds seem a bit random. Does anyone know why these backgrounds? Obviously, grass type. This is, like, a liquid in the back. It's a water type. But mint nine. All right. This is where it counts, guys. Charizard Raiden. And I absolutely love the Charizard. Look at that. It just looks so special. So let's see what it's got. I like the background here. The Charizard background looks sick. Mint 9 on the first one. Is all the Radiance going to get Mint 9? Someone want to pay, like, use this cert number. Someone pay £2 and tell me why. <laughs> I don't want to pay £2. Uh, but, oh, just worked it. But let's go. Come on. Okay, we, uh, okay so I, I didn't tell you. I sent three Charizards from English and Japanese. So that's why there was another Charizard. I forgot to say it. I was too curious. I just want to see what the grade is unfortunately not the mint uh, i mean the gem mint yet so literally only the mewtwo's all right come on last one now obviously i can send more i've got plenty more i bought three of these and they came yesterday from japan um so i bought more zards because they're very cheap like for the what it is like if you want a charizard in your collection buy these while they're cheap because it's an amazing beautiful card mint nine so that is Three for three mint nines for the Charizard. So unfortunately, no Chem mint tens in any of the Radiance guys. Which it all nines there. Wow. I wonder what is it with these that are bringing them down? Like, is it print lines? Is it a floor? Um. Obviously, you guys know how Japanese is, but without paying for the grading report, I won't know exactly why. Um, but that's a good thing about the grading report. Usually, like when I get my PSA returns, I'm guessing like what could it be giving it that lower grade with Ace? Pay two pounds and you can find out why. But obviously, when you got loads of cards, you don't want to pay for all of them. But now we're getting into the English. So yeah, one of our English didn't get graded. But here we go, guys. Radiant Venusaur. Yo, the English is less. I would have thought like the Japanese would have been easy tens. But all of the, well, most of the Radiant Japanese ones, I've been seeing nines on nines. So, come on, let's see what you can get here. German 10. Okay, okay. I'm liking that. So, we've got two Charizards here. All right, let's go. So, two English Charizards. So far, German 10s. We need at least one of these to be German 10 to get a 3 over there. A 9. Yo, that last one had, like, I lost the shot on this one because this one didn't fit. What do you guys reckon? Is it just cut too big? It does look a bit bigger, I can't lie. Like a tiny bit bigger that way. No idea how. The label looks a bit folded. Is it too tall? Don't know, but, yo, let's go. Nine, nine there. All right, it's down to this last one, guys. This is another English Charizard. I'm surprised really with the Japanese. I wonder what is on the Japanese cards as to degrading all of them. Um, but yeah, let's go. This has to be a 10 for that. This is tense, guys. Should we put the pool music on? I think the pool music's on, guys. Come on. There we go. We've done it. Gem mid 10, best for last there. So 
Yeah, English. If you're looking to grade, guys, and get in those tents, grade the English ones because those are getting the tents. Obviously, make sure you check them. I've got plenty of each of these now. I've got like 10. I've got like 10 of each now. English, well, roughly around 10 of each of these. I've got multiple of those ones as well. Uh, so I made sure to check the best ones I had. And surprisingly, the Japanese, it looks so, look, look at the Japanese, it just looks so much better. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get that gem mint on the Japanese ones. But yo, the YouTube's are busting as well. Look at that, two tens there, easy tens all day. Need the rainbow, I, I didn't grade any of the rainbow ones because at the time uh, of us submitting these, I didn't pull the rainbow Mewtwo or Dragonite in English or Japanese. Um, so yeah, I have them now, apart from the Dragonite, that's like my last chase card from this set. So we'll send them in a future rainbow grading video. We did a rainbow grading submission, uh, grading return video before, if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, this one's a mint nine as well. So if anyone wants to, um, anyone that has sent off the Radiant, uh, from Japanese and got nines and paid for the grading report, let us know the reasoning why yours was a nine and probably the same for mine, because I'm not going to try and pay for it. <laughs> I'm not too bothered really. I just like to have it in case with the ACE label, even though you don't get like a good grade like it still doesn't look bad when you got the ace label there still feels special you know what i mean so hopefully you guys like this i'll keep it sweet and short uh but don't forget guys every sunday we're doing box breaks we have pokemon go available english and japanese link in the description if you guys want to get some see you guys i was in the middle of sleeving bagging these all up for my collection and i forgot to mention we also do mystery graded cards lots of ace grading in there as well as majority psa for only 20 pounds It'll cost you 20 pounds to kind of buy a card and grade it uh so to get an already graded card for 20 pounds we ship them immediately we have loads of stock available make sure you hit the link in the description we have also sports cards mystery sports cards as well so if you want a mystery graded pokemon card or sports card hit the link in the description we have two different listings for which ones you want to buy 20 pounds for pokemon and 15 pound for sports and sports is all bgs we only grade with the best companies so like ace psa cgc bgs for our pokemon one and then bgs we have all our po uh, all our sports ones are bgs so if you want quality um slabs for 20 pounds only mystery it's great fun hopefully you guys like it we've got a load of people always recurring recurring customers with them because people love them like they love what they get and they order some more hopefully you guys will like it hit the link in the description if you want to get a mystery graded card we also have like i said ace grading so if you like ace we got some in there some ace label cards as well some epic cards really some worth more than that 20 as well so yeah guys make sure to like and subscribe and also like i said we have over 200 cards or 100 cards uh coming back from ace still so we'll do more ace grading returns if you'd like to see that so like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace Thank you.